Hey guys, today we're going to make a choice board using Google Slides. So to start, all you need is a slide opened up. Then we're going to add a background. And if you've never added a background, you come up here to background on your toolbar. From there, you can choose a color or you can choose an image. So you can go to Google Image Search and search for an image, or you can use one that's already loaded on your computer. To do that, you just click Browse. And then you can select the picture that you want, open it up, and it'll load it as your background. Once it's loaded as your background, you can't move it. It stays stuck there. So the next thing we want to do is add our mat for our choices. And you can do that. You can make a table and then expand the table to get the right dimensions that you want. Or if you want, I like to just use the shapes that Google offers. And I'll just use a square here. And you can use the guidelines to make sure it's lined up perfectly. Then you can click on your toolbar on the fill color and the border color and change your border around. I have one that I've already made with a color that I liked and a border color that I like. So the next thing we're going to do is add our buttons for our choices. And I'm going to use a rounded square, or I like to call it a squircle. So I'm going to draw a squircle right here. Um, you can change the color and the, the inside color, the fill, fill color and the border if you like. And then you have your squircle right there. To copy it, just copy the shape and paste it, and it'll give you the exact same one. Same color, same size, same everything. And you can kind of space these out as you want. Use the guidelines to help you. And I'm going to make a two by three choice board. So here it is. I've just spaced out my, my squircles or my rounded squares um, throughout my mat, and I'm ready to put my choices in. I have one that I've pre-created for you with different choices. Um, I have a flip grid that my students do for every social studies unit. Um, I also have a slides assignment they can pick, an epic book that I've pre-assigned with an AR test that goes with it, a writing prompt, a near pad, or a quizzes. Now these are all things that I've created or found for them to do. You can use anything you want, any choices you want, you can use for your choice board. I do, however, prefer to use the logos, the pictures for my students, because our reading level is a little bit lower. So I like to use the logos. If you search for logos on Google, I would recommend searching for the company name or the software name, logo, and then transparent background will give you one without a big background on it. It'll just give you a blank background behind it. Now I want to show you how to link your buttons so that when the students have this, they can just simply click on it and it'll open up the tab that they need to be on. So I'm going to show you how to link the Nearpod. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to Nearpod. I'm going to open up my student paced lesson that I already have open. I'm going to click share, then link. I'm going to copy the link from there, go to my Google, click the chain link up here. That means to insert a link, insert my link, click apply, and then my link is there. So now, if I were to click on the squircle or the rounded square, it's gonna take me straight to my Nearpod. And your students can get into your Nearpod from there. Now, one of the things that I've noticed about my students is that they are a little messy with slides and when it comes to using all of our tools. So they sometimes accidentally delete things. So if I were you, my suggestion would be to download this as a PDF. It's gonna give you a PDF document of the whole slideshow. So if you only want one slide, just make sure that you only do one slide in the document. To see, it, it's, it's given me all five, which is fine. Um, and now the links are still gonna be active, so I can still click on it, and it'll still take me to that Nearpod. Okay, so that's pretty neat. So now with that PDF, you can assign that in Google Classroom as material, as an assignment, however you want to assign it, and everybody will have their own choice board to work on. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.